In today's video, we're talking about how you can set up self-hosting using NADN. We're gonna hover over to the NADN website and then circle over to the pricing page. Now you'll notice there's quite a few pricing options here starting at 20 euros a month for the starter plan, up to 50 euros per month for the pro plan. <laughs> and it's never a good idea if you have to contact enterprises because anytime it lists contact us, you know <laughs> it's not gonna be cheap. So fortunately for us, we have this community edition down here and this actually is for free. And we're gonna set this up in a matter of like two to three minutes here. But before we get into setting it up, I want to talk about the possible options. There are two different ways we can self-host NADN. We can either do it in the cloud or we can do it on our local computer. When I say cloud, I just mean like there's third-party sites where they will take care of all of the hosting for us. You can think about this like literally like NADN, but just on a different hosting platform, such as Hostinger and such as Railway. And we're going to be getting into both of these in this short tutorial today. And the other option is on our computer. And this is is like literally on our local machine. And so I've broken this down into a couple variables. Let's start off with the first one here is who is it best for? Well, if you don't have technical background, cloud is just going to be the way to go. It's, it's really simple, it's fast, and it's easy. And so if you want to get into things like data security, building your own custom web applications, you have a technical background, the computer is probably going to be best for you because you have full customization over everything. Next thing is uptime here. What I mean by that is like, you know, with cloud based hosting, you can access it anywhere, anytime around the clock. It's always going to work. It's reliable with the computer. If you don't know what you're doing and you just put it on your computer, anytime your internet cuts, anytime the computer dies, anytime the server goes down, you're not going to have your NADN instance running. And that's the whole point of NADN in the first place is to make sure around the clock, it's always working for you. And so this can be unreliable if you end up hosting on your computer and one of those things happens and then your instance goes down. If you want that reliability, you're gonna to have to buy into a cloud hosting platform anyways, just like Hostinger over here to make sure you get that uptime here at 99%, which brings me to the cost. While it's free on your computer, you're likely gonna to have to do cloud hosting anyways, and that is likely gonna cost five to $20 out there. I'm sure there's options where it's cheaper. There's probably options that it's more expensive too, but this is kind of the ballpark range of what it'll likely cost. Time to set up in, in both instances, it's gonna be three minutes in this video. I'm gonna show you how to do it really, really quickly. But if you're hosting on your computer, obviously it's gonna be difficult to maintain. If you run into issues or errors, it could take hours, days, or weeks to solve that. Whereas with the cloud, you're just kind of outsourcing it to a platform like Hostinger so that they take care of absolutely everything for you. You just pay them a bit of money and you're good to go. With that being said, let's go into how we can set this up in the cloud. And how I like to do this is either using Hostinger or by using Railway. And so let's start with Hostinger here. Essentially, we have four different options. If you want, you can start at like the, the lowest plan here for $4.99 a month, and then you can scale up as you need more resources, right? So start small and then scale up as you need it. Just keep in mind that obviously this is going to be at a discounted price. You can see the full price here. So if I just cho chose this plan, for example, it's going to give me a discount. And as soon as the period that I've selected is ended, then that's going to go up to the regular price here. So, you know, it could be one month or 24 months or, or whatever, right? So just keep that in mind that uh, obviously you get a discount to start. And once you're ready to move forward, all you have to do is hit this nice, beautiful little purple button here uh, that, that says continue. And then we're going to go into actually create our cloud version of NADN or our self-hosted cloud version of NADN. And so this is the next page you'll you'll land on. And on this page, there's just a couple things that we need to do. Firstly, we need to select the server location. So we have lots of different server locations across the world. Essentially, what you want to do is just select the location that's closest to you because this is going to be um, this is going to mean that you just get faster service. It's not like the end of the world, but you know, ideally just choose the location closest to you. This works for me because that's close to where I live. And then we're going to select the operating system. And for the operating system, there's lots of different options down here, but we're going to type in NADN, select NADN and continue to the next page here. And so essentially what we want to do is we just want to create a root password here. And I'm just going to go ahead and just enter in some random password. And then we can also add on this additional feature for free. We'll click next here and then it'll take us to the payment page. We'll pay 
we'll sign in and we're pretty much good to go. Now, I've already actually gone ahead and signed up. So when you do sign up, you're gonna be redirected over to this page. And all we have to do to log into our NNN account is just click manage here. And then once we're inside, we can skip their survey and manage app and we're good to go. That's essentially it. Then we have our self-hosted version of NADN in the cloud. We can sign in via an email and a password and get started pretty much immediately. You'll see that the server changed up here. So now we're not actually like hosting it on NADN, but we're instead hosting it on Hostinger. Another solution for us is we can use Railway. Railway could be another cheaper alternative too if you want to save a bit more money. How we can get started with this is we can go over to NADN Railway. We'll just type that into Google and we're gonna select the first result here. And it's just a one-click deployment. So all we have to do is just click this box right here and uh, we're good to go. And so I think just to start out here, the pricing is about $5 per month just to, to get started with the hobby plan. And then of course you can work your way up to the pro and so on and so forth. And so this is another option as well. And I wanted to point that out. Lastly, we can host this on our computer. And so what I'm gonna do to host on my computer is I'm gonna circle back to the NADN website page and we're gonna go to the home page up top here. And we're gonna click on this GitHub repository. And once inside this GitHub repository, we can we can go down to the quick start guide, which is located right here. And they tell us exactly what we need to do to get started. So it says try NADN instantly with NPX and it requires node.js. If you guys haven't downloaded node.js, you'll just have to go ahead and do that. So we'll circle over to the node page here and we'll download this. This might take a few minutes to do. And once we've gone ahead and done that, then we can close this tab and we can circle back to the GitHub repository. From here, we just need to select this npx nadn um, uh, command here, and we'll just copy that. Now I'm on a Mac. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open a terminal, okay? And if you're on a PC, you're, you'll just have to get to your version of a terminal. I'm not quite sure what, it, what it's called, but um, yeah, you can just enter in that command that uh, we got from the quick start guide and then hit enter here. And essentially we'll hit Y or yes to proceed, press enter, and it's going to download N8N on our local machine, which means that this is going to be on our computer. A couple of practical use cases for this is like, maybe you just need to manage like, or deal with like a lot of data simultaneously. You don't necessarily need to run something uh, multiple different times or have it work around the clock even when you're not available, but maybe you just wanna run things manually and you're processing tons of data. This is another option for you, right? So there is some practical use cases for this, even if you don't wanna spin up your own custom web application. All right, so we're good to go. All we have to do is press O, and then this is gonna open up a local environment for our NNN self-hosted account. We can go ahead and sign in using our email and password, and then we're good to go. Keep in mind, this is on a local host. What this means is that this is technically running off files stored on your computer. Like somebody else can't just log into this local host environment from somewhere else. And so that's important to note. And if we want to go back and like shut down the server, we can just head back to our terminal and hit command, or I think it's control C, and then it's gonna to essentially um, you know fire this down if I was to come back and refresh the page and all of a sudden this this site can't be reached and then if I want to open this back up again I can just run npx nadn and then it's going to essentially open it one more time and we're gonna hit O again and now we have access to it one more time so that's how you can kind of turn the server on and turn it off and kind of go back and forth between the two just in the last few minutes of this video, what I wanna do is talk about the pros and cons of self-hosting NADN. And so let's start with the first one here, which is built-in authentication. If we cycle over or circle over to our self-hosted version of NADN on Hostinger, and we take a look at Google Sheets here as an example module, okay? And we go to the credentials here and we try and create a new credential. It's just a massive pain to have to authenticate certain applications because now we need a client ID, now we need a client secret, and in order to get this, we need to head over to the documentation on uh, on NADN. And this is like bushing, bushwhacking through the Amazon rainforest. It's just a lot of technical jargon. And if you guys aren't familiar with this, this can take quite a bit of time. So obviously this is a big pain in the butt. However, if we go over to like the actual paid version of NADN by one of these plans, right? 
all of a sudden it becomes very easy for certain certain applications. So if we take a look at Google Sheets, add credentials, we can literally just sign in using Google. And so this is just a nice little benefit of using their paid plan. But uh, yeah, I just wanted to kind of point that out. The next thing that I wanna point out here is projects and team collaboration, which is not available on our self-hosted version of NADN. So in NADN, and I'm actually just logging into my account with a paid plan using their software, we have access to these projects here. So if I hit the plus button and I go to projects, I can add one project on the lowest plan. And that's awesome because now I can collaborate with team members. But this is not possible unless you sign up for the enterprise plan on the self-hosted version, which is obviously not ideal. So if I exit out of here and keep in mind, right now we are on the hostinger self-hosted version of NADN and I hit plus button here, I cannot create a project, which is not good because now I can't collaborate with my team members unless I go up to the enterprise plan. Moving past that, there's also no guarantees of updates or additional support on the self-hosted version. And so what I mean by that is like, say NADN decides one day we want to make more money and we want to push people into using our paid versions of the software. They might release updates or modifications and say this is hidden behind the paid versions on our website. And so there's no guarantee there. So it's something worth keeping in mind. But the pros of using self the self-hosted version of NADN, first of all, are unlimited operations. This is a big one because all of a sudden um, it's just a lot more cost effective. And so if we go back to Hostinger, we can just start for $4.99 a month here. And keep in mind, this is a big discount. So it's probably like $13.99 a month here. And we can just upgrade as we need additional resources. And so I think this is going to be a way more cost effective solution rather than using their paid versions here. Of course, it's more cost effective as a whole, and it's also open source, and you have full control over your data. So that's essentially it for this video, guys. Really appreciate your time. Thank you for watching this video and sticking with me to the end here. If you guys ever need additional help with automation or anything like that, I highly recommend taking a look at the community that I launched about a month ago. We're already at around 288 members. This is a place where you can get access to tons of blueprints, tons of course material, and also access to me if you guys want to jump on our weekly calls. I help people troubleshoot and debug all the problems that they're they're facing so that they can just get up and running really quickly. So again, thank you so much for your time. Really appreciate it. And I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video. Thanks and bye-bye.